Hi, good evening to you, Sarah. The defense and the prosecution went back and forth inside of this courthouse today for hours, as you just mentioned. Now, the defense focusing in on the search warrant of Fotis Dulos's Farmington home, which he shared with Traconis at the time. Plus, he's putting into question some of that cell phone data gathered from Towers back in 2019. Michelle Traconis sitting in Stanford Superior Court, listening to a translator through a headset while her attorney, John Schoenhorn, defends her. Traconis, the former girlfriend of the late Fotis Dulos, has been charged with evidence tampering and hindering prosecution in connection to the presumed death of Jennifer Dulos. Schoenhorn honing in on the search warrant of her Farmington home, where Traconis lived with Dulos, arguing there was no probable cause for that warrant and it was too broad, including more than a dozen devices seized, one belonging to Draconis's 12-year-old daughter. They had the right to essentially strip this house, every corner of this house, based on this warrant, without the slightest probable cause or limitation. The state disagrees. The idea that simply because the officers in executing this warrant may have seen things that weren't covered by the warrant, that that somehow makes it overbroad. If that's the test, I would suggest that every search warrant ever executed would be overbroad. The defense also focusing on the cell phone tower dump, where police say Dulos traveled to several places and was seen on camera getting rid of clothes that looked bloody. When it comes to Traconis, her attorney says she uses AT&T and wants all AT&T data from that dump to be suppressed. To show how broad this was, they were just engaged in what I refer to in my memo as a fishing expedition. An argument he plans to make over the coming months. In fact, there were so many different arguments the judge had to separate them with different hearings, saving other topics for a different day. Was not going to attempt to handle a one mile long freight train without uncoupling the cars. Now, Traconis will be back in court next week. At that time, they'll be deciding on the venue for the trial to see if they have to move this case up to Hartford. We are live in Stanford tonight. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.